Hi there, it's Neil Morgan again, finally back with another little of the week after a, a fairly sizable break, between having a baby and stuff, which you know, takes up a lot of one's time. So today is a neoclassical idea, um, kind of like sort of thing maybe Malmsteen or John Petrucci might play. Um, and as usual, I'm going to play the lick and then I will break the lick down into chunks and explain how it is done so that it can be you know, here we go. Okay, so as I said, the neoclassical idea, which in practical terms normally means harmonic minor played really, really fast. So we're in A harmonic minor, but I'm actually treating this like a five chord. So E Phrygian dominant is what you want to think of. Um, you don't know what that means. Ask your guitar teacher, if you don't have a guitar teacher, email me. Um, so, we're starting the lick with a bend from the 15th fret of the B string up to the 17th fret. Okay, plenty of vibrato, as is the style. Um, something you might want to do at the start of this bend and some other bends in the rock thing is kind of rake into it. Rather than just plucking the string or bending, I've got the heel of my hand rests on all the strings, I'm going to strum them all for the bend. To give the note a little bit more attack. Okay, so while that note is bent, you then want to keep that note bent and keep put your fourth finger now on the 16th fret of the high E string. Pluck that note and then pluck the note that you bent again. And then keep the note bent again, take my first finger and put it on the F. 13th fret on the E string. Again, pluck the bent note right after, after it and then let it down. So that little uh, sequence just after the bend. Like that, okay? So now we're the bend. Okay, then we're going to pull off to the 13th and slide to 12. Hammer on to 13. Okay, now we do 15, 12, 13, and 14 on the G string, and then 13 on the G string. That's like the end of the first half of the phrase. So all together. Okay, now we start uh, an arpeggio sequence. Basically built around an E dominant 7 flat 9, or effectively diminished 7 arpeggios from F. Okay, so I play this E, the ninth fret of the G string, then I slide into the tenth fret. That's my F. So from there, we're going to do these diminished seventh arpeggios. So then it's thirteen on the G string, twelve on the B, and ten, thirteen on the E string, like that. Then I do twelve again on the B string, the last three notes of the arpeggio. After I pluck 13, slide up to 16 and do the same pattern. So these diminished arpeggios are completely symmetrical. You can move them up three frets at a time and still be in key. Okay, then I play 15 on the B string, 13 on the E string, 16 on the E again, slide up to 19, and do the same pattern again. So that's 18 on the B string. 16 on the E string, 19 on the E string again, and slide up to 22. Okay, so that's. One more time. Okay, now that last note, that top D here. After I've played that, I'm going to pluck the 19th fret on the E string and do a little trill basically between that and the, the 22 that I've just played. Sliding down to 16. And then 19 again, back to 16. And then 18, 17, 15 on B string. We're ending with an E dominant 7 arpeggio. added 
that line. So again, as I said, E double the seventh flat line I've here. Then slide right up to 22 again and bend up to what would be 24 if you've got 24 fret guitar. If you haven't, then you do what I'm doing to the 22nd up to the same pitch. Okay, so I'm going to slide and bend kind of in one movement. Like, um, so I've just played 15 on the B string, so I need to go like that and then crazy vibrato at the end. At the end of the lick. So here is the whole lick. Slow. And then up to speed. Sloppy, I'll play it again. Again, one more time. <laughs> I don't know why I can't play it anymore. Here we go. Alright, there we go. See you next time.